Glossier is the best lip gloss ever. So pretty. Oh, there's nothing better than a juicy red plump lip. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite lip combos. I am a lip liner fanatic, lip gloss fanatic, lipstick fanatic. I like have just been like adding to my collection for so long and I'm obsessed. And lips is probably one of the my most like favorite parts of the makeup routine. So I wanted to show you guys some of like my go-tos and I'll just kind of hop right into it. So if I'm going to like an event or like, like a wedding and I want like just like a good classic lip that is gonna look good in photos, but also a bit more of a long wear, this is what I do. So I have the MAC lip pencil in the shade Soar. I have like three different of the same shade, but this one's just a little cray. And so I go in a, a trick too, if you want a bit more mattified, like long wearing lip for something like this, that's gonna photograph well. Go in with with a touch of concealer and like a little bit of powder over the lip and it's gonna help like stick it. But nonetheless, always go into with a good hydrated, like balmy lip, not overly. You just want a bit of like moisture just to help with the application. So I go in, line the whole lip. And I mean, not anything new or groundbreaking, but if you cover the initial layer with a light layer of lip liner, it's gonna help too with coverage. So look at already, just like the pretty like berry. Literally sore is the way to go. So then I go in with the YSL. It's like their lips, matte lip stain. And this is shade 23, I believe. And it's very similar to Sore. Like it's a dark, like mauve berry color. And it's a stain. So it kind of comes on this little bit of like a flat, like, and then I pop it on just kind of roughly. And then I take my finger and give it like a little bit of a bounce a good layer of this lip stain and it's gonna help just with that underlying tone and staying longer. Letting that dry a bit, then I love this lipstick for just like a good classic look. This is shade Pussycat, 04 Pussycat and Tom Ford. The Tom Ford lipsticks are some of my absolute favorite lipsticks like on the face of the earth. So you can see it's a little bit darker. What it, This wouldn't be like my normal go-to. It's definitely more of like a look for me, but yes, love this one in that same like tonal shade as the uh, lip liner and that lip stain. I pop that on too. Give it a good blend. So pretty. Okay, and then I pretty much, that's the overall look. It's just like a good plump like, and it's gonna look so pretty in photos. You're not gonna look washed out with like a really light nude or like a pinky nude. Sometimes that can wash you out. This is like just a good, pretty, like classic mauve. Now, if you were to wear this, it's gonna get you through like the ceremony, cocktail hour, like it's a tried and true. Like it's gonna stay and it's gonna look good. Now I can't go anywhere without gloss. So I'm the kind of gal that's like completely fine with reapplying, but I do like this color for photos. So I'm going in with the Glossier. It's just their gold shade. I think they have four different shades. This one has, it's gold and it just has like pigmented gold sparkles in it, but applies pretty translucent. It's just gonna have have that iridescent shimmer to it. Now I'm gonna tell you and like I don't, I Glossier is the best lip gloss ever. And don't come at me with any other suggestions or anything like it's, I've tried so many and like this is it. If you like a good thick tacky sticky gloss, which is like a lot of people don't like, but I love it. Get this in every color, run. Lightly brushing it on the top of that widow's peak to let the light bounce up there. Gonna give the lip a fuller effect and that's it like it's so thick it stays if that makes sense um now of course if you're like eating drinking like whatever but like i'm the kind of person too if i'm at a wedding like i will drink my wine out of a straw because like the lips are everything so good love that lip be it's a really pretty everyday lip i just like more of like the nude family so again, Soar by MAC Lip Liner, the shade 23 YSL Matte Lip Stain, and then the Pussycat Tom Ford Lipstick. And then again with that gold Glossier lip gloss on top if you're a gloss gal. So love this one for an event, photographs really well. 
Okay, back to my natural lip. Again, I would have a little bit more of a balm on that just for the sake of showing you guys some of these. Now, another one that I like for a good, like deeper, more fall tone. I know it's summertime right now, but I wanted to show you guys. I would go in typically, I would do the Endless Cacao Makeup Forever Artist Pencil. Again, give it a good overline. Good line. This is a good cool tone, uh, like deeper nude kind of color. So I like it, if, especially if you're gonna pop a warmer color in with it. This is Makeup Forever Lipstick, and this is in shade 316 Subtle Cider. So you can see it's like a deep rust color. Super, super pretty for fall. I just think it's such a pretty contrast with that the taupey lip liner. It just helps like blend it a bit. So pretty and bright for fall. Look at that. Okay, and then what I do, I always have to have gloss. My favorite to top on top of this combo is the Fenty Glow Rihanna's line of lip glosses. This is also one of my all time favorite lip glosses. So good. My cousin put me on this. So shout out to Mei Mei. I love these by Fenty Beauty. This is the shade, I guess, zero one, but you can see it's in that bronzy, like orangey family. So it's so pretty to top off with it. Super, super, super glossy. Not as thick wearing as the Glossier, but again, I mean, that was one coat. Look at that. So pretty. Love her. Okay, those are good. Makeup Forever Subtle Cider, the Fenty Bronzy color, as well as the Makeup Forever in shade Endless Cacao. Such a good rustic. Throw on a bunch of bronzer, maybe like a corally, like brown blush would be in a good, like bronzy brown eye would look so good with this. Next shade that I want to show you guys, this is more of like some more everyday ones that I like to do. I'm going to go in with a Makeup Forever. This is in shade Anywhere Caffeine. This is definitely a warmer tone brown family if you don't like the cool tone like taupiness of the Endless Cacao, but this is such a classic. I know a lot of makeup artists like swear by this one. It's like a good wedding day lip liner, just a good all around classic warm nude color. Also, I love the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil because they're obviously artist pencils are versatile. I could literally wear this as liner, like faux freckle, whatever you want to use it for. But these are long wearing. They're not like marketed to be that, but they're not like super overly creamy. So they're not going to like move around a lot. Okay, so you can see it's definitely warmer tone than like how the Endless Cacao wears, not as co much contrast with the natural pigment of my lip. Charlotte Tilbury KKW, it's a light pink nude. If you don't have it, like go run and get it. It's so good. It's like, I throw that on. Oh, I love a light pink. I like the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. They're all very creamy, very pretty. Okay, and then I like to throw on, I also have, I don't have it in front of me, but it's also another light pink. It's by the Pink Dust Cosmetic line. Really, really, really like it for a light pink. It was almost, it almost is like a dupe of the MAC Matte Lipstick in shade Flesh Pot, which they discontinued. And it literally makes me sick to my stomach because that was like one of my favorites. But this is definitely more pigmented, super light pink, lumping lip gloss by, like I said, Pink Cosmetics. And it is in shade Pink Puff. So good to pair with a light pink lipstick. Let me get it juicier. Like you can see it's way more pigmented. So it's gonna give you that like intentional light pink look. Love it. Some people don't like that paler look and I just, oh, I love it. But you can see how much lighter it is and it almost has a tendency it can to wash you out if you don't have like a good like bronzy look and a good contrasting lip liner on. So you can see how like compared to my YSL combo at the very beginning I did, it could like wash you out at, in photos like if you're at a wedding or something. But a good just everyday plumpy like 90s look, I love it. So that was the Charlotte Tilbury KKW, the Pink Dust, Pink Puff Plumping Lip Gloss. Really love their lip glosses too. It's like a thicker wear one. And the plumping, you can feel it, but it's not anything over dramatic. And I actually really think the plumping works with that line. And then the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil and Anywhere Caffeine. Another one that I like for an everyday wear. I've shared this one before. I'm gonna go in. I wear this one so much, but I love it. Anywhere Caffeine Shade and the Makeup Forever. 
And I typically line first, and then if I like don't love the blend of the lipstick on top, I'll go back in and like add more. Like if my light pink is too washed out or something like that. But I'm just throwing these on to show you guys the combo. Okay, the good cool tone brown, and then this is the Makeup Forever lipstick. Their Rogue Artist line, I believe, and this is shade 100, Empowered Beige. And again, it's a good like cool tone light nude, and I like to pop that on. Not as pinky and light as the Charlotte Tilbury KKW wears, but just a pretty cool tone combo. And then I like to pair it with the Marc Jacobs lip gloss and it's shade 318 Pretty Thing. And you can see it's like that same like cooler tone pinky color. This, I also really love this lip gloss. It has like a minty, it's not plumping, but it has like a minty like taste or scent to it, which I like. And it's also not as like translucent. It wears like kind of true to this color. So I like layering it on top of this combo. Just a good everyday like nude color. Again, that was the Makeup Forever Shade Empowered Beige, the Makeup Forever Endless Cacao Lip Liner, and then that Marc Jacobs lip gloss I just showed you. That one, like I said, is like an everyday. I always have that thrown in my purse. Then another shade is like a good everyday, but it's a pinkier one that I like is again, Makeup Forever Artist Pencil, but this color is in Wherever Walnut. This one is also like a good tried and true with makeup artists. That's kind of how I like stumbled upon it. Again, a good like, like wedding day, like good photography type one. This is gonna have a rosier, pinkier undertone than the Anywhere Caffeine or the Endless Cacao. So I like if I'm going for a pinkier look to use this one but it's not as harsh or dark as the Soar by MAC, but I would say it's similar. So pinkier. And then I like, it's by NARS. It's their matte velvet lip pencils, and this is in shade Bettina. And so it probably needs to be sharpened a little better, but it's like a super pink, almost like slight iridescent to it, but in the rosy pinky color. So I like to fill in with this. And it's like almost so true to my natural lip. It's just like a good, pretty, like rosy nude. Sometimes if I'm feeling frisky, I'll throw in the Marc Jacobs. It is the shade 502 Diva. And this is like true iridescent, like a shimmery lipstick, super light pink. So I like to throw this on any of my light pinks, but I'll pop it in the middle just to like plump this and brighten it a little more. So I like that. And then I like to throw on the Tom Ford shade 14 Crystalline. It wears kind of sheer, but I also really like the formula of the Tom Ford because again, it wears like how I like gloss to wear, which is like a little bit thicker. So I, this is wears nudie light pink. Such a good pinky vibe, but a little bit more pigmented, deeper hues, not as bright as the KKW light pink if you don't love that super light pink look. Now, another fun one I wanted to show you guys is my favorite red lip combo right now. I love a red lip. This is like a good summertime one. Now, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Lip Liner in shade Cherry. It's like a deeper red. True red, but like not super bright, so I like it because you can brighten it up with a prettier bright red in the middle. But, okay, I'm a little bit more meticulous with the red. I don't like it to be like as blurred out because as I do wear gloss and stuff, it will tend to like blur out naturally. And so by the end of the night, I can look kind of crazy. So I definitely bring like a little makeup wipe in my purse, a makeup brush, something um, just to like wipe it off if I want and redo it throughout the night or like after I eat or something or just to, like clean up the lines because I like the red, a red lip to be a bit more intentional.
Okay, red lip liner. The MAC ones wear a lot like the Makeup Forever Artist pencils. I just like my lip liners to be a bit more placed and like more long wearing than like an overly like creamy lip liner. That's just what I like. So then I like to go in right now with the Tom Ford shade Dress to Kill lipstick. This I've worn a couple times but you can see like comparatively a lot brighter, which is really pretty to brighten up that inner part. I mean, look how pigmented, little goes a long way. Oh, there's nothing better than a juicy red plump lip. So I'll show you what I do. This is the Glossier lip gloss, which I absolutely love. This is in the shade Red Rouge. Now they, the Red Rouge like originally comes like very translucent, transparent. So it just gives you a little bit of like a pinky undertone type lip gloss, but I specifically wear this one with my red lips. So there's a lot of like red lipstick mixed in with it. So I wouldn't wear it like by itself. This is like my go-to to layer. A really good juicy red lip. So classic. Look at that. Bright, fun, good summery red. So pretty. So actually, I'll keep it popped on. Those are like my like go-to like standard ones. Now, of course, I have like pretty corals. I have like super pretty like dark fall ones. This is by Lawless, so good. I love like a dark fall lip. I have, like I said, peaches, corals, like pretty light purples, bright pinks. I just feel like a lip, like I said before, is one of my favorite ways to just like show a look and just kind of like how you're feeling inwardly is, is this is just a great way to like personify that, I guess. I just love, love, love lips. And I could go on and on about like lip combos and like some of my favorite lip glosses and things like that, which I can do another video of just like lip glosses because that's how like sickening it is for me. But yeah, those are like some of my go-to everyday like good nudes. I typically stick just personally with like cooler undertone, like topier nudes. I love a pretty brown nude, don't get me wrong. Now, a good one that kind of goes in line with the family of like the Rosie Bettina, this Tom Ford Pussycat, those like berry or mauve undertones is the classic Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which I really love. It's just like a lighter, good, classic, like universal look. Can't go wrong. Another tried and true lipstick that I absolutely die for is MAC and it is Honey Love. And it is so good. I've literally worn it for years and it's just amazing. Um, you could literally do it with a cool tone liner, deep brown liner, so good. Just a good classic go-to nude and it's matte so it will stay as well. Another matte lipstick that I love is Velvet Teddy. That's definitely a little bit deeper nude, but it's definitely warmer undertones compared to, I think, compared to how Honey Love wears on me. It's just a little bit deeper and a little bit more of the brown family, which it would be a good one to throw in your purse for like a wedding or something like that where you're taking photos because it is a little bit deeper, I think, and warmer. So you're not gonna look as washed out. Yeah, like I said, I have like so many in front of me. I could go on and on, but like those are my tried and true like favorites. Red lip, a good rustic, fall color, and then like all the like nudes in between. So yeah, if you guys want to see more about my lipstick and glosses and such, just let me know. And if you guys have any tried and true combos, I would love to hear about it because I'm always wanting to add to my collection, kind of just like stay in the know because lipstick's like my thing. So let me know what you guys think. If you liked this video, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.